Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We will be covering the SAGE 200 evolution three stage invoicing feature. Now, as the name implies, it's a process which is made up of three stages, which we'll be covering through our video snippet. But before we start implementing or start processing with three stage invoicing, there are a couple of settings we need to consider. And first, we need to go to our inventory defaults. And under the invoices tab, there's an option where we can go and implement three stage invoicing. So to do that, I'm going to click on the box that says separate inventory issue from customer invoice. And once I do that, I then need to specify an inventory issue accrual account. So on the drop down, you can go select one of your GL accounts, or else you can create a specific inventory or a specific GL account, which is going to be linked to three stage invoicing. I've called mine three stage accruals, and I'm going to link that to my inventory issues and process and just OK that option. And remember is that we can implement three stage invoicing in the invoicing or the inventory module as well as the order entry module. So I can also say yes, implement the same setting under my order entry defaults. And once again, the option has been selected and I can then make use of the same account there if need be from my existing GL accounts. Right, that's sorted. And now we can go and see how to process a three-stage invoicing transaction. Now, if we go to our inventory transactions, and uh, invoices, and as I open up the screen, you'll notice is that the taskbar looks slightly different. I've now got the options to issue stock, invoice customer, and issue an invoice, which are the three stages that are applicable when using three-stage invoicing. Right, let's go through those options one by one. So I'm just going to select a customer, and I'm just going to do a line item or some line items. And what you notice is that in the top right hand corner, I've now got a new field called GIV number, which stands for Goods Issue Voucher Number. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to first to use the Issue and Invoice option. So this is just a normal invoice, an issue where it means is that the invoice is processed at the same time as the goods are being issued. So it's a normal process, goods are being sent out, and the invoice is being issued, which means that the inventory side and the customer side are being updated simultaneously. Right, so there we go, issue an invoice. And there we go, quite simple. Right, then I'm going to be going on to our second option, which is the issuing of stock. So once again, there's our customer, and we can then go and Do a line item. Right. So as you can see, at this particular point, I'm going to use issuing of stock, which means that the stock has now left my premises, been sent to the customer. However, I have not processed the customer invoice. So issuing of stock. And there we go and I can now print the goods issue voucher. Right, there's my document, it's a GIV document with all the information about the goods which have been sent, and then this type of document would perhaps just accompany the delivery vehicle when the goods are being sent to the customer. And there we obviously just have our GIV number for reference purposes. Right, so at this particular point, 
the goods have left and I now need to go invoice the customer. So it's simply a case of open and I'm now going to go locate the, GR, the GIV, which I'm then going to in turn link to an invoice and invoice the customer. So in a document type, I'm going to take off the INV and I'm going to go look for the CINV, which stands for the customer invoice number on the transaction date. And as you can see, I've got an option there, which is an unprocessed customer invoice. So the goods have now been sent to the customer. I'm now going to go link the unprocessed customer invoice to that GIV document. So select that. And there I've got my details. And as you can see, this particular point, only the invoice customer option is available for selection. I've got my GIV number together with my INV number. And I'm now going to invoice the customer for the goods that I have delivered previously. Right, invoice customer. And I can say print the invoice. And what you'll notice is that I've got my default invoice layout, but what's just for ease of use and reference purposes, I have gone to go customize the layout of the document and just added the goods issue voucher number so that I know that this particular invoice relates to this GIV number. Right, simple as that, and I'm good to go. So that transaction, although it's been done in two phases, it has now been fully completed. Customer details have been updated, and so have the stock items when those goods were issued and sent to the customer. Right, there may be instances whereby, for example, you invoice the customer first, but then go deliver the goods at the later stage. For example, um, the customer may, may come to your premises, um, may request certain goods, you then decide to the customers in invoice at the time with the, uh, with the goods being delivered at a later stage. So if that's the case, we need to do the following, is we're going to save our customer, and we're going to use the invoice customer option first. So there we go. Right, so this particular point, I've got my invoice number and our GIV number, but I'm going to use the invoice customer option and print the invoice. At this particular time, there's no goods issue voucher simply because the goods have not been issued. Only the tax invoice has been processed. So I'm going to close that. And now at some particular point, the goods are going to be delivered to the customer. So I now need to go link the invoice to a GIV. So open there, and I'm now going to search for a GIV document uh, on the transaction date. And as you can see, what I have now is I've got an unprocessed goods issue voucher selected and we're good to go at this point only the issue stock option is available so i'm now going to issue the stock and complete the process and there's my goods issue voucher which has now been linked to the customer invoice and the transaction has been completed Right, so I'm just going to, on the screen, I'm just going to go and process just an issue stock option. Right, so I'm going to use the issue stock option. 
and print the GIV. Now remember is that it's possible that you may be using the three-stage invoicing process. It may decide at some point to stop using it. So I need to go to my inventory defaults and inventory maintenance. Invoices tab, and I'm going to deselect this option. So as you can see, it tells me that there are outstanding split document transactions that need to be processed first. So before you decide to deselect or stop using the three-stage invoicing process, you need to ensure that all the relevant transactions relating to three-stage invoices have been completed and fully linked to whatever is either customer invoice or a goods issue voucher. So to fix that, I now need to go back to my inventory transaction, complete the issue stock, which I've just processed. And then from there, I'm going to be able to deselect the three staging invoicing process. So open, uh, find document that I used previously, and there's my unprocessed invoice. Custom invoice is now available. Those are my details. And remember is that you may be instances whereby, for example, you're not going to be delivering the full uh, quantity to the customer or invoicing the full value. You can simply come in, obviously change the amounts to be invoiced if perhaps you don't have enough stock on hand to meet the customer's demand, et cetera. So you can go and obviously do partial invoicing and adjust the invoice quantity depending on the quantity being invoiced or the quantity being delivered to the customer. So issue or invoice customer and print the document. And then once again, I've got the ability to show my goods issue voucher if I need to. So just going back, if I just regarding the uh, customization of the document, um, I can go to my invoice and I'm just going to show you exactly how to go and add that field. So here's an invoice that I've gone to go customize which includes my goods issue voucher document number, design layout and all I've gone to go do is I've gone to go add that field that appears under the PLINV num pipeline and the field number is CGIV number. So simply go and create add your database field um, and insert or go search for that field, GINV number, and the PLINV num pipeline and place it uh, wherever you want this information to appear on your document layout. Quite simple. Just to save the changes and then simply go and select the new layout or the customized layout so that when printing the documents, you are going to have the GIV details appear. Right, so as you can see, if you are implementing uh, three-stage invoicing, there are three available scenarios, issuing of stock, firstly, and then at some point after that, going to go invoice the customer. You can then go to an issue of stock and invoice the customer simultaneously, or else thirdly, we can then go invoice the customer first, and then at some later stage, going issue stock, which means that the goods are then sent to the customer after the invoice has been processed. And once again, this process can be implemented under your sales when you order entry as well as your inventory invoices. And remember, I'm now going to go and deselect three-stage invoicing as an option within my database. So it's back to inventory defaults, invoices tab, and Deselect the option, and I'm now good to go. It also prompts me if I want to deselect this option under order entry. I can say yes to that. And as you can see, it has been deselected, and it's now a case of normal inventory invoice processing for sales order entry as well as invoices. So um, let's just wait for this to refresh. 
And if I now go back to inventory transactions invoice, you can see we now have a normal processing options available on the taskbar. So as you can see, three-stage invoicing, a very useful feature. If you are have, do you have scenarios where perhaps the issuing of goods and the invoicing of customers do not take place at the same time, you can obviously use the relevant scenario which is applicable to your organization. I do hope that this uh, Sage 200 three-stage invoicing invoice snippet has been useful. Thank you so much for watching. It's goodbye for me over and out.